This lesson is about the THOI principle. So this is just a design method I want you to keep in mind when you're designing for a 3D printer. First we have the T, which is to represent overhangs like these, the T here. Just kind of 90 degrees over here to floating. And what's going to happen is when the 3D printer goes to 3D print this, when it goes out here, it's going to start drooping. So the only way to combat this is to add support material in a external 3D slicing software of your choice. Um, I'm not saying that you can't 3D design something with overhangs like this, but just keep in mind if you're going to have something that is tall and has overhanging edges, then they may need support material. Next we have the H which is to represent bridging. And what I mean by that is when the 3D goes to 3D print this H here, it would come up and build the feet. And then when it gets to this point, it would actually create a 3D strand of melted filament that creates a bridge. And then the printer could continue printing this entire shape. So the H's are okay. And you wanna look for bridging opportunities when you're 3D designing. So that is bridging. Next is the O. And this is just to represent curved arches. So circular patterns and spheres can be easily 3D printed and they are strong and bold. And the next is the Y. Now this is to represent 45 degree angles, which you'll hear a lot. So the printer would come up to here and would have no problem building up this Y shape because of the 45 degree angle here. So that would be a clever way that we can add overhangs to our 3D prints by just not breaking the 45 degree rule. I like to push a little further. Sometimes I go into 55 degrees or maybe even 60 degrees or farther. But I just wanted to keep in mind, you know, 45 degrees is that, uh, that sweet spot for supportless kind of overhangs.